Surprise! And welcome back to Theme Park Wizard because today we had an amazing leak due to Lowe's.com. The Lowe's Hotels, of course, partner with Universal quite often, and it looks like the Lowe's Hotels have leaked the opening date and concept art and confirmed the name for the Terra Luna and Stella Nova Resorts opening with Epic Universe in 2025. According to the website, the hotels have an opening date of January 1st, sorry, January 21st, 2025. It expected the Epic Universe will be soft opening around this time, potentially the team members or past members or some type of guests. So it makes sense to kind of soft open the hotels or officially open the hotels around this time to get them ready for the influx of all those guests coming to the theme park. And then uh, Epic Universe will officially grand open in the summer of 2025. So they'll have about maybe a four to five month soft opening period potentially. And yeah, both these hotels, the Stella Nova and Terra Luna, which are sister resorts, will be um, ready for that. Let's go take a look at the concept art and from this concept art it looks like the hotels will have the same colored tiles on their exterior changing form changing from warm and bright colors on one side to cooler and darker colors on the other which is a cool um, color scheme I like that evokes the atmosphere and space. One thing to also note is the completed road and intersection that are both under construction right now specifically that elevated intersection that they kind of um, showed uh, the Orlando Department of Transportation showed Florida Department of Transportation showed what it will look like it's like an upper level roundabout type of ordeal and this road and elevator intersection will carry the bus lanes and vehicle lanes from Epic Universe to the El Universal Land Resort main campus where the other two parks are right now taking a look at the ground floor restaurant to be on the obviously the ground floor ne near the lobby and the pool area yeah this will be a big area this these hotels you'll see you'll get the vibe of it's a kind of a family vibe like the um i get like a surfside and dockside in type of vibe here and but you can notice the very spacey type architecture i love that including the walls and the lights the lights are shaped like planets like large planets hanging from the ceiling which is really cool as well making our way to the lobby if you notice those lights are curved and shaped like comet like the comet trails which is cool um while the chairs look like stars against the beautiful night sky and they almost have this this odd like crystal type shape you know like and it makes sense because you know you know crystals is like kind of goes with astrology and all that stuff uh, so it makes sense that they're kind of shaped like a crystal i really like that as well but over to the right hand side of the photo you can see that there are two pieces of or two murals uh that evoke space and the galaxies and they kind of forms a nice little lounging area towards the back of the hotel which is uh quite nice moving on to the rooms themselves they of course continue the space theme and even the windows um, are shaped um kind of like space type as we can see from every single epic universe update but here's the other side of the windows and i'm a massive fan of this color blue so i'm really liking this cold you know, blue color scheme in this standard looking room here the bathroom is a bit brighter in all white because again evokes space it's like you're inside a space shuttle and you know everything's white inside space shuttle and the astronauts wear white space suits but the mirror lights up quite nicely i wonder if it would be like you know kind of newer mirrors where they have those tvs or tv screens in the mirror um although that might be for, too fancy for this hotel but i'm very curious what other amenities this bathroom may have here's a side plan of what each room will what the two separate beds is going to look like um looks like as though the bathroom is kind of right when you come into the right hand side and then the beds and the tv and the lounge space and the towards the window the window is interesting because on this rendering here you see the window shows you know, a space night a starry night sky now that could for all purposes be for just the concept art but i'm curious if these will be like digital windows where you know from the outside they'll look normal but from the inside you can look outside during the daytime but at nighttime maybe you'll get that starry night sky type of vibe or maybe maybe they'll maybe they're ar windows right where you know stars shine bright or the sun shines bright in the daytime stars shine bright at nighttime that'd be cool but it's likely again likely just for the concept art um it's better than showing just the outside because it's evoking a space theme that'd be really really cool if those windows did do that at in the evening let's lastly let's journey outside to the very expansive pool area you can see this pool will be very large and have plenty of poolside seating again reminding me of the dock side and surf side 
hotels. There will be even be a nice children, children's splash pad. And I'm glad more hotels are incorporating this. We see this with the DVC Towers at Disneyland Hotel. They have a very nice um, Steamboat Willie splash pad. This one will have a splash pad as well for the children. And a play area that is separate from the main pool. And the main pool that was very, very big and have plenty, plenty of poolside seating. Which will be quite nice and should accommodate hundreds of people. Especially in the nighttime or, or in the peak summertime season. But in the winter time, it seems like they really heat up the pools as well. As Dylan from Theme Park Obsession is in Orlando right now. And he in his la last video, he showed that the thing at the dockside and the pool is like steaming. It's like really hot. So uh, that's good that you keep the pools warm during the cold season as well. So you can really use them year round. That is it for this quick update, but uh, yeah, lots of new information, actually a lot more than I thought came from this website. The website at least currently down, it's kind of like a, probably in a beta testing site uh, phase, and there's uh, some information is not quite correct, they, they kind of mixed up the names of the hotels on the portions of the website, but a lot of the, the, the pictures and everything are all correct. So what do you think of the new Terra Nova and Stella Luna resorts? This one was just specifically for Stella and Luna. But Terra Nova will be a sister property, so look just about identical. Maybe some small changes here or there. But what do you guys think of these new potentially uh, family hotels for Epic Universe? Which will, of course, you know, have access, bus access, right to the beginning of the park. Very excited to see what the Grand Helios Hotel looks like. That's the one that is the luxury hotel that will be uh, connected to the park. That will probably be the one that gets you the express pass because it will be a premium hotel if you stay there. But what do you think of... These resorts, I think, look absolutely fantastic, and I'm very tempted to be there January 21st, 2025, to go stay in them myself, especially if Epic Universe is having a soft open. Let me know what you guys think of all that. Um, if you like this video, press, please press the subscribe button, and consider following my Patreon to help support the channel, and also for some cool exclusive content. Thank you for watching, have an epic day.